Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 22nd to the 26th of May 2017. Starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs looking at key levels of support and resistance in the process. So without further ado, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. US dollar index. US dollar index did bounce off of the top of this channel uh, about two weeks ago and we did say last week we were looking for price to trade down to this upward sloping trend line here. Uh, marked by this blue ellipse it did trade into this area and in fact it did push a little bit lower we're sitting now uh, outside of this upward sloping trend line so i do now expect price to trade down next week into the 12149 area of support down here which we've had marked for uh, a few weeks now we may see a pullback first uh, whether it will be minor or maybe even higher up to this broken trend line here uh, before heading down we could see that pullback first however uh, i am looking for this now to trade into the 12149 area and as a result i do have a bearish bias going into next week uh, on the us dollar if we get a break through the 12149 area we're going to be looking down towards the 12080 area uh, as the next key area of support on the us dollar index next we can have a look at oil oil broke down through this key level of support and resistance here and actually out of this upward sloping trend line here we were looking for price to come down to the 43.39 43.4 area of support uh, it did in fact stop just short of that in fact you can see it came down to the 44 dollar a barrel area before bouncing up uh, quite significantly it did come back and retest this you can see there was a couple of days of retest in this broken support as it turned to resistance however this resistance level failed and it has now pushed through and higher uh, above this resistance level so i do hold a um, slightly bullish uh, bias for oil next week and i do think we could be seeing a pullback into this area down here perhaps maybe a retest of this broken resistance becoming support and we could be seeing moves up to the 51 52 and then um, the top of this wedge pattern up here so on oil i am going to have a uh, bullish to neutral bias on it uh, but i am expecting maybe a pullback and then a push higher in oil next week euro us dollar euro us dollar broke out of this major downward sloping trend line here uh, we did because of our uh, bias on the us dollar index last week uh, although it was sitting in here we did think that this could push out and break out of here uh, and if when it did that we were looking for the 1.11 area of uh, resistance in the uh, previous weekly forex forecast it did come into this area and as you can see it broke through and it actually came back and tested this area of resistance which became support and it has now traded up to the 1.1200 area and i do expect this now to continue higher uh, and I'm looking for the 1.1300 area to be the next key area of resistance uh, next week. So I am looking for uh, some moves up into the 1.1300 area on the US do uh, Euro US dollar next week. US dollar Japanese yen. US dollar Japanese yen, it broke out of this downward sloping trend line here. And we were expecting a pullback and a retest of the 112 area over here uh, we did think this could act as support as it retested this broken downward sloping trend line uh, and we are, were looking for and in fact uh, possibly still are looking for uh, higher moves up to the 115.8006 area up here however what we would need to see uh, before we started looking uh, at this area as the next target is a break back up probably outside this downward sloping trend line again so with our, with our bias on the US dollar index uh, next week, we are going to look for potential shorts in the US dollar Japanese yen. And what we could be seeing is we could be seeing a pullback and a retest of the broken 11200 area over here and a pullback into this blue ellipse uh, that was put on there for the last uh, week's weekly forex forecast. And we could be seeing a move from this area down to the roughly the 109 uh 20 area down here and as you can see there's actually a gap over here so what we're going to be looking for next week if we do see that us dollar weakness we are going to be looking to trade us dollar japanese yen uh, to come and close this gap over here on the 25th uh 21st of the 4th 
So this is the trade that we could be looking at next week if we get that US dollar uh, weakness as we expect. Pound US dollar. Pound US dollar did finally trade into the 1.30 area up here last week. As you can see, we had this uh, blue ellipse on here because there are two things that this could be. We did have a rising wedge pattern and as you can see, uh, this grey upward sloping trend line is the bottom of that rising wedge. So we had another one up here which runs uh, in line with the with the black uh, trend line here. Uh, so this could be a channel as you can see with the black trend lines or it could be a rising wedge as you can see with the grey trend lines forming this kind of uh, squeezing pattern of price. So either way, uh, we were looking for it to trade into this area last week and it has now done that. We would like to see a breakout of this, uh, the top of this channel or the re or the rising wedge if it is going to uh, fail, if this rising wedge is going to fail and we're going to see high moves and then we're going to be looking at the 1.3100 area. And if we get a break above this 1.3100 area, which is probably going to be the next best place to take longs on this pair, uh, we can be looking up into the 1.3256 area uh, as the next target to the upside. If we see that this is a rising wedge and this rising wedge uh, rejects from the top here. We could be seeing a breakout of both the channel and the rising wedge and we would be looking for the 1.2700 to the downside but with a bias, uh, an, a bearish bias on the US dollar index next week, uh, we could be seeing this push and making new highs. In fact, pounds would have to be very weak next week. US dollar franc. US dollar franc failed at the top of this wedge. Uh, it did break out and it held out there for a number of days but then it came crashing back down capitulated quite hard as you can see and we were looking for an inter intermediate target here once we got the uh, failure at the top of the wedge and then we were looking down to the bottom of the wedge here uh, as a next target it, it did crash through both of these targets uh, and it is now um, motoring to the downside I would like to see a pullback in the US dollar franc uh, maybe even a retest of this broken uh, wedge bottom here uh, for that we would need to see a, a retracement and a, a in the US dollar index as well to the upside uh, and then once we get that, I do see the 0 0.9700 area being the next uh, key area, uh, psychological level. But then beyond that, I'm looking at the 0 0.9650 area down here. So I do think we could be seeing a bounce at the 0 0.9700 area here. So keep this psychological area in mind, even though I haven't got it highlighted here. Keep this psychological area in mind, 0 0.9700. And then if we do break through this area and we get some consolidation, maybe down here, we're going to be looking for a trade to the 96.50 area down here on the US dollar franc. Just bear in mind, this is quite a strong sell-off. Uh, so we could see some profit taken and we could see this done to move to the upside, maybe even retesting the bottom of this broken wedge. Aussie US dollar. Aussie US dollar is in this down channel here uh, and we were looking last week, uh, we, we got a bounce from the 0 0.7350 area uh, that was highlighted is also the bottom of the channel here. And we did expect to see a pullback to the potential pullback to the 0 0.7450 area up here, which we highlighted from last week's uh, weekly forecast. We did get that pullback. In fact, it did take all week pulling back into that area. So we are looking for potential just based on the technicals here for a move down even further and a test of the 0 0.7300 area in the bottom of the channel down here. However, we are seeing a uh, potential US dollar weakness. So if we do get US dollar weakness, uh, this pair could remain choppy um, if the US dollar is weak. We would like to see some retracement in the US dollar index uh, to really uh, push this maybe to the downside for a, a double bottom retest or move down to 0 0.7300. So Technically, it is setting up to make lower lows. However, the only fly in the ointment is uh, we could be seeing a weak US dollar next week. US dollar CAD. US dollar CAD was forming this kind of rising wedge pattern over here. Uh, and as a result, we did expect to see uh, maybe a correction in this pair. Highlighting last week's weekly forex forecast, we were looking for the 1.3600 area. And we actually took a nice trade into this uh, last week. As you can see, the 1.36 area did try to hold a support, but in fact failed uh, late last week. So now what I'm seeing is maybe a potential pullback back up to the 1.3600 area of support, which could turn resistance. Now it has been broken and be looking for a move down to the 1.3444 area of resist uh, support down here. Excuse me. So I do see the 1.3444 area being the next key level of support on this pair. Uh, and if we are going to get more highs in the oil uh, and we are going to see a weakness in the US dollar index, then the US dollar CAD to the downside could be a very nice one to watch for next week. New Zealand US dollar. 
New Zealand US dollar is in a downtrend, as you can see, it is being denoted by this downward sloping trend line here. And it did actually find this trend line last week and it's holding up this area. Uh, it gives us the same problem really as the Aussie US dollar, which is that technically we're seeing continuation and accumulation to the downside. Uh, we are seeing more lows in this technically. However, if the US dollar index is also weak, then as you can see, uh, you get this kind of move where nothing really happens because you've got two weak uh, currencies uh, pitted against each other. It can be the same thing can happen if you have two strong currencies pitted against each other. They basically don't go anywhere. So although technically we're seeing more lows in New Zealand US dollar, we would have to see some strength coming into the dollar in order to uh, take this. Otherwise, we could be stuck in this kind of sideways move for a while. So just keep that in mind if you are trading the New Zealand US dollar next week and you are looking for further lows to the downside on this pair. If we do get a, if we do get some strength in the US dollar and we do get a breakdown uh, into this area, we are going to be looking for the 0.676 area of support as the next uh, big target on uh, this pair. Euro pound. Euro pound is one that I'm going to be watching very closely next week. Uh, we did expect it to trade into the 0.86 area of resistance up here, which is this downward sloping trend line, also this psychological level here. We did get this move last week, and now I am looking for this to potentially break out of here. Uh, we could be seeing a bounce, and if we see a bounce, we're going to be looking down to the 0.85 psychological level, and maybe even a pullback and a retest this broken trend line. If we start seeing moves further down below these levels, then we're going to be looking back down to the 0.83495 area however uh, i would prefer to see this pushing a little bit higher consolidating outside of this downward sloping trend line here uh, and I, I would like to see a trade next week into the 0.866 area of resistance up here so if this pushes higher we do get a push out of here and we see some strength in the euro against the pound i am going to be looking for the 0.866 level of resistance as a next target on this pair next week so keep your eye out for this one uh, and see if it materializes euro yen Euro yen has been uh, moving to the upside pretty hard ever since the French elections, as you can see. It did break out of this downward slugging trend line here. And we were looking for trades into the 125, 126, and then the 127 psychological errors on this pair. We did get a rejection at the 1.25 psychological error up here. And I am wary now if we are going to see some Japanese yen strength uh, next week, we could be seeing this push down. Uh, forming a kind of ABC pattern down to the 1 to 200 area, which would also be a retest of this broken trend line here. So I think there are better pairs out there maybe for next week uh, because we could be seeing a fairly strong euro and maybe even a fairly strong yen next week, uh, in which case you may not see a huge amount on this. However, uh, there is possibly a trade to the downside if this rejection holds, uh, and that would be to the 1 to 200 area and a retest this broken trend line. So going to be looking for that next week, but just bear in mind that's a counter trend trade uh, and they can always, well, they are always a lot more riskier. So uh, I would like to really see this making new highs and then we can look for the targets that we outlined uh, in the previous weekly uh, forecast. Pound yen. Pound yen did break out of this downward sloping trend line here. You can't actually see it, but if I go grab a trend line and put it across here, you can see what I'm talking about. So it did break out of this downward sloping trend line here, and it has formed this kind of uh, bull flag pattern that we're seeing now. So I do expect to see further highs on this pair uh, up to the 151.606 area is the next key level. It didn't quite reach our 148 level. Uh, which we are looking at as the next key level of resistance in this pair. Once it breaks through this, if and once it breaks through this, we're going to be looking at the 151.60 area. However, uh, the problem is at the moment, even though the larger move is to the upside, uh, it is trending down and it is correcting. So we could be seeing if we get uh, some pound weakness and some, US, uh, and some Japanese yen strength next week, we are going to be looking for a potential trade back down to the 142 area uh, down here. This is what we're looking at potentially next week. So we could be seeing a continuation of this corrective move uh, and we would be looking for the 14200 target next week. So this again is, is another one I'm going to be keeping my eye on, uh, looking for a short down to this area over here. If we start seeing a breakout of this downward sloping trend line here, then we're going to be looking back to the 148 target that we've had highlighted for a while on this pair and which it has failed to reach so far. I do expect it to come up and tag this, like I said, but our focus next week is going to be on a potential short trade to the 14200 area. Frank Yen. Last week, Frank Yen was sitting uh, just above this downward sloping trend line here, and we were looking for a trade up to this outer trend line here. Uh, this was the trade last week from here straight into here. And then you can see the rejection uh, probably as a lot of people took profits at this point.
it bounced from there back down to this downward sloping trend line and it is now making its way back up to this trend line here so it looks like we are getting a little bit of a kind of range almost forming here so i wouldn't be surprised if we see a little turnaround in this area and it comes back down to retest uh the downward sloping trend line here price is a little bit squeezed in this area for me uh again i think there are better trades on the uh, on the yen pairs especially also the franc pairs uh, next week so uh, although we could be seeing a turnaround and a move back down to this area here I would probably look to uh, put my money elsewhere next week. Pound franc. Pound franc broke through the 1.289 area of resistance over here. And then as you can see, it it was it was marching uh, right up to the 1.313 area up here. And then we got a pretty big turnaround uh, and it actually came all the way back down through this key level of uh, resistance here, which was we were looking at potentially turning to support but it just went straight through it and it also went through this downwards uh, it's upward sloping trend line here so so we are seeing it sitting at this major downward sloping trend line here and it could be accumulating in this area now uh, i would favor shorts on this pair now uh, and if we gets if this accumulation stays underneath this major downward sloping trend line and it has in fact broken back inside uh, this major downward sloping trend line we're going to be looking to the 1.2500 area possibly next week uh, on this pair as we do see further declines now in the in the pound franc if we get a bounce here then we could be seeing a kind of head and shoulders pattern maybe forming on the pound franc uh, and a bounce here we would be looking up to the 1.2895 area of resistance to come back and test this uh, as it failed to hold support here uh, are looking at potential head and shoulders here uh, and it comes back and tests this uh, failed support as it turns resistance so either way on this one we could be looking at uh, some nice moves so we're going to keep our eye on the pound franc next week your australian dollar euro was broke through the 1.485 area of resistance and i did say uh, that i was looking for it to do a similar thing over here as it did over here which is that again you can't see the resistance here because um, we did have a resistance level here if you go back I think two weeks ago and it was sitting under here so I said I expect this to sit underneath this resistance area just as this was sitting underneath the resistance area that we'd highlighted uh, pull back a little bit accumulate and then break through and make new highs and that is exactly what happened on this pair traded into the 1.500 area here and now I do expect this to uh, proceed and carry on this uptrend that it's clearly in uh, and make its way up to the 1.5173 area of resistance up here we could see a little pullback and a retest of the 1.4857 area here uh, as this broken resistance turns support. Uh, but either way, uh, whether we get the pullback or whether it goes from here, I am looking at the 1.517 area as the next key target on this pair to the upside. EuroCAD. EuroCAD broke above the 1.5014 area here of resistance. It did break above it here and it pulled back and we were potentially looking for an A, B and then maybe a C back down to test this uh, major downward sloping trend line. However, uh, like I pointed out in the uh, pair that we looked at a minute ago where we had a similar kind of setup with an ABC, counter trend trades are risky and the C wave never came and in fact this carried on going up. Um, we are now looking for the one point five two six eight area of resistance in this pair so you can see it's continuing this uptrend that it's in very similar to the euro oz uh, and again similar to the euro oz are we going to get some consolidation here and a move higher to the 1.5268 area or are we going to get a pullback and a retest of this broken uh, resistance to become support before we get the higher move up to the 1.5268 area so we'll have to see how this plays out next week but either way we're looking for more highs in this pair 1.5268 area being the next key target uh, on this pair that we see Aussie CAD Aussie CAD is in this big kind of wedge formation as you can see you've got this upward sliding channel here and this downward sliding channel here sold off pretty hard when it tested the top of this major wedge uh, and it broke down through these levels here it did come down and test the bottom of the wedge here and it has did pull up into this area we were looking maybe for a retest down to the 1.005 area last week maybe in this area and a retest of this upper slope trend line however uh, whether it pulled back into this area or kind of continued from this area uh, i am looking now for the 1.0200 area next week so it could pull down a little bit further testing the 1.0050 area first and a retest of this upper sloping trend line here but either way i am going to be looking for a potential move to the upside on this to the 1.0200 area up here the only fly in the ointment again with the aussie cad is that uh, aussie is looking fairly weak across the board 
and oil is looking pretty strong at the moment, which goes in the complete opposite way uh, to the technicals that we're seeing here. So if the oil continues to push to the upside and the Australian uh, continues to be weak, then in fact, what we could be seeing is a breakout of this wedge. Uh, and in which case, if we do get a breakout of this uh, major wedge and this uh, upwards limit trend line here, so looking for some accumulation in this area and then a trade potentially down to the 0.99 area, which is the next key area of support we see on this. So one to be a little bit careful of, we are looking for the 1.0200 area uh, resistance next week. However, with, with oil and Aussie as it is right now, that, that would have to change. Um, and as it's sitting right now, I mean, we're, we're probably more likely to see uh, a move and a breakout of this. So it's okay to have an expectation like we do on this pair based on the technicals, but we have to keep other things in mind. Cadian. Cadian is in an overall downtrend and we were just seeing this here as a deeper correction of the overall move to the downside. In fact, it is in an overall uptrend here and this is just a big correction. So when I say it's in a downtrend, I mean it's in a downtrend of this corrective move. We are potentially expecting to see higher moves on this at some point because of the big uh, move up that we're having over here. However, uh, we can only trade uh, what we're seeing at the moment and what we're seeing is a uh, continuation of this downtrend here. We are looking and we have been looking for the 80.00.00 80 level uh, as the next target to the downside on this pair. If we get some Japanese yen strength next week, and you can see it has broken out and it's kind of pulled back. So it's a little bit unclear whether this is actually going to maintain above this trend line, in which case we could be looking up to the 84, 85 psychological levels on this pair. However, if we get some Japanese yen strength and oil is not very strong next week, we are going to be looking down to the 80.00, which is our preferred move on this pair. Again, oil is looking fairly strong, which is uh, would make this move to the downside a little bit tricky because if oil strong, CAD usually goes up as well. So again, something we're going to have to keep an eye on oil to see if uh, it sets up and it lines up with the opportunity we're seeing down to the 80 level uh, in the CAD yen. New Zealand yen. New Zealand yen did make the move down to test this upward slope and trend line that we had here. Uh, we are seeing potential bounce from this area to the upside. Uh, if we do get this bounce to the upside, we could be seeing a double top up to the 78.92 and then even further up to the 80 level up here. However, we, New Zealand is looking fairly weak across the board and the yen could be setting up to be quite strong next week. So. I won't be surprised if we if we see this upsloping trend line here fail to hold and we do in fact see a breakout to the downside. If this happens and we get a break back down below this major trend line here and also below this upward sloping trend line here, then we're going to be looking for the 7500 mark uh, as the next target to the downside. So technically as it's setting up, it's setting up to make uh, more highs. However, don't be surprised based on uh, some of the other things we're seeing if this support level here that it's sitting at right now fails to hold uh, and if it does do that we're going to be looking at getting involved to the downside continuation of this uh, big sort of down move here and we're going to be looking down to the 7500 level on the new zealand gen so we'll have to see if that support level holds pound cad pound cad last week pretty much did nothing i mean it was just moving down and moving down moving down pretty much finished the week uh where it started it is now sitting underneath this upsloping trend line here uh, and it, as a result we could be seeing a push down into the 1.7500 first of all uh, and then if we get a very strong oil and a weak pound next week we could even see this coming all the way down to the 1.7250 area down here this psychological level and even further down to the 1.714 area down here and the kind of uh, bottom of this upsloping channel here so if we do get strong oil next week, we could be seeing pound CAD to the downside. The only problem is it is trending up at the moment. Uh, and so a trade to the downside right now would be a counter trend trade and they can be very risky again. So what would be nice is if we could start seeing a push higher in the pound CAD back into this area up here, then some consolidation, maybe a retest of this trend line here. Then we can look for the 1.800 area of resistance, which we've had marked for a while to the upside and the next uh, key area of resistance to the upside in this trend. So we'll have to see how this plays out. However, I'd probably like to see a little bit of strength come into this before we look to continue the uh, trend to the upside on the pound cap. Again, maybe better pairs to look at next week. Pound New Zealand. Pound New Zealand is accumulating underneath the resistance level we have here around about the 1.88 area. I do now expect this to push higher next week um, and to continue this kind of uptrend that we're seeing here. 
Uh, I do expect it to make new highs. It has been making high highs and it has been maintaining high lows. So I do think this could push out and this could finally break above the 1.88 area next week. If we get a break into this area, I'd like to see some consolidation and then we're going to be looking at the 1.905 area as the next target on this pair. So 1.905 area, is a, this is a pair that I'm looking to trade to the upside next week. If we can see it push a little bit higher, I would like to see maybe on Monday uh, and sustain itself above this uh, air of resistance which as you can see has held for quite a number of days now so it, if it pushes it to the downside we're going to be looking for a retest of this upward sloping trend line here however the preference is going to be for buys next week on the pound new zealand up to the 1.905 area up here pound oz pound oz is very very similar to the pound new zealand uh, it is in an uptrend here as you can see making higher highs higher lows it has pulled back from this resistance area of the 1.766 so i would expect to see a double top at least back up to the 1.766 area up here and then if we get a breakthrough here i'm going to be looking at the 1.7800 area up here this kind of area of resistance as the next key area of resistance so i do think if it maintains this trend then it is going to push up to the 1.78 area up here that is what i'm seeing for this pair however if we get some pound weakness next week uh you could be seeing a deeper pullback maybe down to the 1.713 area however Again, like I say, we always look to trade with the trend. Uh, the counter trend trades can be a little bit more risky. So my preference for this, I am going to be keeping an eye out on this next week. I'm going to be looking for a trade, the double top trade into the 1.766 uh, area, and then for a breakthrough of this area, and then a test of the 1.7800 area. So we'll have to see if we get the pound strength next week, which pushes it up into these kind of areas that we're looking at. Aussie New Zealand. Aussie New Zealand is one, in my opinion, to watch out for next week. We've been eyeing this trade for a while uh, and on the back of some I believe it was New Zealand news uh, this did push higher and uh, we've got kind of got a retracement of this down move here I am expecting a trade down to the 1.0600 area so this is what I'm looking for next week as you can see we kind of got this little ABC move a kind of corrective pattern uh, and now we're just we got this kind of pin candle here uh, from last Friday I am going to be keeping an eye on this. Hopefully this plays out as we've been planning it to for a while now. Uh, but we'll just have to see because, you know, anything can happen in Forex. But one to keep an eye on, in my opinion, next week. Look for a trade down into the 1.0600 area. Aussie Frank. Aussie Frank, again, is another pair that I'm looking at very closely next week. I do see this trading down into the 0 0.7200 area. So I do see a little bit of weakness in the Oz next week. I'm going to be looking to take advantage of this move that broke down out of this major upward sloping chain line it has in fact started to make new lows as well. Uh, you can see this is now clearly in a downtrend. Uh, we were looking maybe if we got a bounce in this area, uh, we were looking back up to the top of the wedge up here. But as you can see, it just continued this trend and it is pushing to the downside now. So hopefully what we'll do is we'll see a little bit of... Uh, resistance maybe from this psychological area coming in on monday or tuesday get a little bit of a correction give us a chance to get involved with this to the downside at a better price up here maybe up at the 0 0.7300 area and could be looking for a trade next week down into the 0 0.7200 area so just a bit like the aussie new zealand aussie frank is one i'm going to be keeping my eye on very closely next week euro new zealand euro new zealand uh is continuing the uptrend uh, it has traded into the 1.61 area uh, the psychological area and it has pushed a little bit higher now up into the 1.62 area that we were looking up for here i do expect to see maybe some consolidation in this kind of area and then a continuation of this trend of this up move and once we start seeing it breaking above the 1.6200 area and get into this zone we're going to be looking for the 1.6500 psychological area as the next key area of resistance on this pair i would like to first see it trading above the 1.6200 area New Zealand franc. New Zealand franc bounced off of this downward sloping trend line here and it has continued now to make lower lows. Uh, it, I do see this pushing lower, uh, similar with the Aussie franc. In fact, I'm going to be keeping my eye on this as well next week. As I look for this to trade into the 0 0.6700 area down here. So I do expect what would be nice is a little bit of a pullback, maybe up to the 0 0.6800 area over here. And then we can take advantage of that, uh, looking at selling this at a better price down into the 0 0.6700 psychological area and then if we get a push through there i am going to be looking for this support and resistance area in this case of support at the 0 0.66500 area down here so i do see further declines in the new zealand franc next week another one to keep on your radar uh, and looking for the 0 0.6700 area first 
and then further down to the 0 0.66500 area on this pair uh, if we get the further declines that we expect uh, could be coming next week. CAD Frank has stalled around this major upward sloping trend line here. It is in fact in a big wedge pattern. You've got this and you've got this here. It's kind of hanging around. I mean, it has been closing outside. It did bounce quite sharply from here and we were looking for this move up back up into this area uh, as profit taking from this pretty strong sell off uh, came in. We thought this could be quite a sharp move. And as you can see, it did uh, bounce up quite sharply into the 0 0.733 area up here. It then continued to sell off. Uh, the big problem I have at the moment with the CAD Frank is uh, it's kind of hanging around in this area. So is it going to now break back in the wedge and is it going to look for the 0.733 area uh, or is it going to continue to make lows uh, and if it does we're going to be looking for the 0.706 area of support down here problem i have with the cad franc uh, it's not as clear or as good in my opinion as maybe the new zealand franc or the oz franc and the reason is because oil is looking strong uh, as we've discussed a few times in this uh, weekly forex forecast and if oil is strong usually the canadian dollar is strong which means we would have a strong franc pushing things to the downside but we would also have a strong cad so you might see this one struggle so my preference even though i'm looking for the 0 0.706 area of support on this next my preference is to look for the uh, aussie new Ze uh, aussie franc and the uh, new zealand franc instead next week next we're going to do is gold Gold found support at this upward sloping trend line here. Uh, we said if it breaks through here, we're going to be looking for this major upward sloping trend line here, but it did hold here. And we said last week, if it held, we're going to be looking for a pullback and a retest this upward sloping trend line, which it pretty much did. And in fact, it came even higher to the 1 to 60 uh, area of resistance up here. And it sold off from this area of resistance. Question is, is it going to maintain below this resistance level? In which case we would be seeing some US dollar strength. Uh, if that happens, we're going to be looking for a retest of this upward sloping trend line where it found support from previously. However, it's probably going to be one we're going to avoid next week. And I'll tell you why, because uh, we are having a bearish bias on the US dollar index next week, which doesn't really fit in uh, with a push down to here. So instead, what I would like to see is if we do get some more weakness in the US dollar index, uh, a push above the 1 to 60 resistance area and into this kind of area up here, maybe get some consolidation back above this trend line here in this area. And then we can be looking for a trade up to this major trend line down here where it bounced from previously. Uh, so if we get a push up to here and we get some dollar weakness uh, and gold starts to trade in this area, going to look for some longs to the 1 to 7 5 area of resistance on the top of this uh, trend line down here. So I would take some longs on this if we get the US dollar weakness next week, but I'd like to see it trade into this area first. Uh, I'll probably bypass the moves down uh, to the 1 2 2 5 if we get some uh, dollar strength. Uh, finally, we're going to finish with silver. Silver found support at the 16.14 area of support down here, and it did bounce up. Uh, we had highlighted the 16.68 area here. It pushed through that resistance area, and as you can see, it turned, and this resistance area has seems to start being acting as support here. So if we do get that US dollar weakness, uh, I would probably prefer silver to gold uh, if we were to look at the two pairs next to each other uh, and I'd probably be looking for a retest of this major upward sloping trend line which it broke out of quite strongly in fact uh, back here over on the 27th of the 4th. So if we do see that US dollar weakness uh, I would prefer to take silver over gold and I would be looking for we could say the 1750 area up here uh, and a retest of this uh, major upward sloping trend line which it broke out of. So I would be looking for longs on silver if we get the US dollar weakness that we anticipate we could be getting next week. So that is it from me for this week. I hope you found that helpful and like always if you did please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. I hope you will have a super week next week. Don't forget to trade safely and good luck guys.